some time, but I've been meaning to show off one of my old favorite uh, quick play strategy games from the Commodore 64, Defender of the Crown, for a very long time, and this seems like a pretty good time to give it a try, so... Nice music. <laughs> Let's try the other version I have, and it kind of went glitchy, so I'm going to see if this one's any better. <clears> this <throat> gets pretty loud. Hopefully I can be heard over it. This will be a good test stream for future stuff. I can do lots of stuff on this computer. Nintendo, Commodore 64, Atari, lots of fun stuff. Awesome medieval music. Oh, this game's got cheats. <laughs> Longsword's leadership this week, as is Wolfric, or average. I mean, they're not going to be very good in battle. So, I mean, you can get better swordplay with Jeffrey if you really have trouble with raiding and stuff, but really, swordplay, if you know what you're doing, it's pretty basic. And yes, Wolfric being good at Cedric, Wolfric of Ivanhoe being good at everything is pretty darn good. <laughs> so, yes. Robin of Loxley, but your old friend has disastrous news. During your journey, an assassin took the king's life, plunging the kingdom into turmoil. The king's left no heir, Robin says. I'm afraid it will mean civil war. Why, even the crown has disappeared. Robin of Loxley. Robin Hood! To think I mistook you for common thieves! Normans are assembling armies, and Saxons will 
fight them. They accuse each other of stealing the, killing the king and stealing the crown. The struggle ahead is a task for younger men, Robin says. Men like you. I, he pledges to aid you three times in your request. The gist of it, anyways. <laughs> Oh, as usual, the dreaded disk change for the Commodore 64. But there's only two disks, as with a lot of games. And here we are, Wilfred of Ivanhoe. Oh, my favorite place to be. These are the two Saxon lords, and then three Normans. So we can look at the map first. See who's who. Of course, we know Wilfred of Ivanhoe. That woods there is Sherwood Forest for calling Robin. Here we have... Geoffrey Longsword. So he's going to be weak at leadership, so he'll be an easy conquest. Should anybody choose to want to attack him. And here we have... Wilfred the Wild. A little better leadership. But neither one of them is very strong. So even though you cheer on the Saxons, because they usually help you and let you go through their land and stuff. They'll be easy to kill one way or another, and they're probably not going to do that well. So the Normans. Brian Dubois Gilbert. Good joust, good leadership. Very strong jousting, so you want to be careful jousting him. Philip Malvison. So he's good at jousting, so better to face him than to face uh, Brian, I think. Yeah, because he's strong. And then who's down here? Reginald, front de boeuf, front of the cow, love it. Alright, and he's, uh, his jousting is good, so once again, you can, you, you can joust him and, and Cedric. Or Philip, I mean. But you want to be careful. Uh, but... You're better off jousting Wolfric. And Jeffrey. Okay, so anyways, that's the... Oh, and then of course, choosing what territory to take first. Territories start off having vassals, and vassals are basically free soldiers, so you really want to take a territory that has good vassals. Because you free free uh, men and you only get them once. First time you take a territory. After that, anyone takes it from you, you never get them again. So, ooh, twelve for that one. That's why I gotta take that one. Because these are only four and four. Uh, you know, I mean, income is important because obviously the more territory is the more income. But uh, vassals you only get one shot at. So, vassals are what I prioritize. So we're gonna go conquest. We gotta transfer our men from our garrison into our army. Which is, you gotta be careful, it means you have no garrison. But, you wanna bring all your men to start, it's just, there's no better way. And then take a territory with lots of vassals, so you get free soldiers. And they'll all choose their territories, usually. This one will call a tournament or something dorky, but... What? No Saxon? Taking territories. They must have bought men. Oof. Buying men in the first turn is counterproductive, you don't have enough money. And you miss out on vassals. Okay, so what vassals are available still? Five there. These ones are four. This one up here. I could ask to go through his land and get six, but then I'd be... Alright, go through his land there and get six. Hmm. Oh no, I can't go through his land. Because there's territories between me, so I can only take one of the surrounding territories. So that's five, six, so this one could be, might be good, eight, but I know I'm going to get attacked here and get cut off. Dangerous, it's a dangerous play here, because yeah, they'll usually attack you and cut you off. But eight vassals is too tempting, I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, they cut you off, and you'll have to... I'll have to fight my way back home. Now, if you buy men, you, you don't get to fight, so... I can't afford to buy men right now. So... Ooh. 
But if I do, he'll take my castle. So, as much as I would love those vassals, I can't afford to. I have to get my kingdom defended. Oh, and he's there too, so. Yep, there is no choice. I must attack his army with my army. Brian, Reginald Front de Boeuf. Should win. Usually stand and fight is better when you don't have big numbers against over him. You have lots of numbers, ferocious attack will often finish him off quick. So happy ending.
exceptions to this. You don't want to take a chance. And I'm getting the upper hand. You push him all the way to the door. And so fight back a little bit, but he can't hurt you. So, and then work your way back, jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. Jab, 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 and usually you'll do more damage than you'll take. Like that. And then you don't have to even put your sword down anymore. He can't hurt you instead of energy, so you just push him back into the wall. He falls, and you enter the inner chamber, and you are successful. You creep into the torchlit chamber and find the beautiful Saxon maid, trembling in the darkness. Grateful, she calls out your name and rushes into your waiting arms. During the weeks that follow, gratitude turns to love. Then, late one night... Ah, what the heck? Let's see if we can get a chance to get. 
get to my home castle back. David Herman finds the lords at Ashby. It's too bad I like the, when the music's still playing when we get to this point. Yeah, it's nice when the music's playing when they're in that awesome scene. But oh, it took too long. <sighs> if I lose my land territory, if I lose this battle. Oh, ride into position. Now the only thing you don't, you can't do that's stupid is bring the sword down to, to his horse and take out his horse, because then you, you lose all your land and you're disgraced. Better to lose graciously than to do that. Um, but try to aim mid-body for the shield a little to the little down, a little to the left. And timing. But, yeah, don't bring your lance so low you hit his horse, because that's terrible. Jousting's hard. But if you win, you become champion a couple of times for fame, you actually can increase your leadership and, and do better in battle, so... He got me. Darn it. Ah... Thus ends your day in the lists at Ashby. You are not the champion, but your deeds will be remembered. Leaving here for home, you vow to return and bring glory to your name. I think I'm toast. <laughs> yep. Reginald Front de Boeuf. I don't know. That was actually an easy victory over Reginald. <laughs> So now the only real hope actually great would be if I could get to my castle and get my garrison. Wonder how many people are in that castle? Thirty one? No. That's not home garrison. I don't think you can tell how many men I have in this garrison. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go raiding. We need to steal gold from one of these guys. Who's doing really well? He is, and he probably gets a lot of money. So, hopefully, we can fill our purses up with some money to buy some men. Turn the tides of this battle. Just like when you save the girl, gathering your best swordsmen, you set off to raid the enemy castle. You arrive at twilight and conceal yourselves in a nearby wood until night falls. You get a castle, pick up the Norman's castle. No, I guess not. Usually they show a picture of the Norman's castle. It's again, sword down, down into the right so your sword is defending you, and just keep holding and you'll push him into the wall. Shots jabbing. If you're confident, you can try to ferociously attack him. Otherwise, you can do it again. You can push him back. When you think he's gonna charge in stupidly, you start moving backwards and jabbing. Almost. Jab. 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 Oh, there we go. Lots of energy left for the inner part. He's a better swordsman, so he might have lots of energy, too. Okay, sword down. Push him into the wall. Enjoy the cool shadows. So yeah, raiding's a key part of this game. You need the gold. And when you raid, you take gold from them, too, which... They get weaker, you get stronger, so it's a win-win. And they'll raid you, too, so... You want to be smart and spend your gold in reasonable amounts of time so you don't lose a huge chunk of money to them. But sometimes they don't buy army enough and you can really get some good gold influxes. Should have an easy victory here. Come on. There we go. Way to go, Wolford of Ivanhoe.
glancing into the chamber, you peer inside to learn of the darkness conceals any secrets. They are glittering in the torchlight. An incredible sight meets your eyes. An open chest filled with gold. The night seems filled with new promise as you begin the journey home. Hopefully there's lots of gold. I don't get attacked. Oh, lost that territory finally. Eh, not a lot. And now I need to buy an army because can't afford to risk that gold. I'll buy another knight. A couple of knights. Some soldiers. Oh, we're not in a great position yet. Oh, and now we gotta fight for our lives. Fight for your lives. Remember to bombard because I got a catapult. Bombard is really handy when you have a catapult. Nice. Holding my own. Of course, I might get more attacks still. No. Nice. At some point, I either gotta reach out and try to get to my... Buying lots of knights. That didn't go so well. And I'm getting a foothold can be a challenge in this game. Your men fought bravely, but luck was not with them with this day. After a long siege, your castle falls to the attackers. The enemy pours through the gates. You send your men into secret passages underneath the castle, passing the word to meet in Sherwood Forest. Moments later, you follow them to the freedom. Together with Robin and the men of Sherwood, you will continue the struggle against Norman oppression. Slipping away from the burning castle, you vow to keep fighting until a Saxon rules the land. Fortunately, a Saxon never does rule the land, and the Normans become... England, and England becomes as you know it. <laughs> but it's nice to dream. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even sure what would have happened if the Anglo-Saxons would have won this war. history forever.
wonder if a more, uh, a less aggressive vassal strategy this time would be more successful. So again, Wilfred of Ivanhoe. She better it misses. They skipped some of the intro. The tune is supposed to end and then start again, and then it has a little bit of intro to it. I'll have to upload that. Try the other one, which I know has it. But right now, I want the game that works. <laughs> Stop to visit Robin of Loxley, but your old friend has disastrous news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the crown has disappeared. The struggle ahead is a task for younger men. He pledge, if he pledges your aid three times if you will seek to reunite the Dark Kingdom. So you can actually ask him for help and he assaults the enemy for you. Makes, uh, Certain battles sometimes easier at just key times, but you gotta know what you're gonna attack beforehand. So if you don't know, not much you can do. Okay, so we are at the top this time. So we only have two options, and we're up against Bullfrick the Wild and. In this castle this time. Jeffrey Longsword. Nottingham, of course, because of Sherwood Forest. And this is Clyde. Or Clode or whatever, I don't know what it is. And this is Cumbria. Okay, and here we have Brian Dubois Gilbert in Buckingham, and he is once again strong at jousting, so be careful. And over here is Roger Falconbridge, and he's only good at jousting, so he's okay. And is this Reginald Front de Boeuf again? Or is it Philip Malvison? No, Reginald Front de Boeuf. Good at jousting. And what was Roger F Falconbridge? Also good at jousting, so everyone's good at jousting. Jeffrey? It's average, okay. And of course, anyways, for vassals, we have two choices. Six here, or six there, but there's more income, so I'll take that one. So once again, at least we're in a safer spot castle-wise, too. So conquest, 20 soldiers. Although of course if we take this one, sometimes you'll have an option for when a, or for this one here. But I can also go through his castle too. The Saxon will let me through. So let's take this one for the better income. Now we gotta decide what to do next. See so yeah, the vassals add right into your army. That only happens the first time. Oh, read map. So I can either take this territory, which is four, and two, for that one, which is five and two. I go through his land and take this one, which is six and three, or this one, which is six and five. But if I take this one, I won't hold it for long. What the heck? Let's be aggressive again. <laughs> I would learn. So we're going to ask to go through your land. As long as you haven't attacked and gotten bad with them, they will let you through. And then you can go to here. And of course, you'll take there. Leaving my castle a little more vulnerable, so i got to be smart here. Well, get a chance to take a third territory. I take this one, five and two, or this one, 
six and two. Well, that's an easy answer. But I need to ask to go through his land one more time. And I will go here. Good. Nice start. They'll probably take that territory back. No. Leave me extra income for a round. Nice. And a whole heap of gold to buy my catapulted army. So, let's get home. One catapult. Two knights. And a heap of soldiers. Castle is the only buy late in the game when you want to secure a territory, so he, it's harder for him to, to the enemy to get out and move. Oh, now I'm going to lose that. Saxon's doing okay. No, no. One standing pad. Okay, is Omega to get married here? Hopefully. Saxon Castle should be marriage. Yay. Oh, Jeffrey's wife. Jeffrey's. Oh, I guess he's not the one doing that well. It's Wolfric that has the extra territory. Okay. Anyways. And it is Rosalind, my favorite. There's three ladies. Rosalind, Anne, and Catherine. Of course, there's four possible Norman Lords and four possible Saxon Lords. And you can be any of the four Saxon Lords, as you saw at the beginning. Skin, sword down. Saxons. <laughs> but I mean, who doesn't love Robert and of Loxley? Come on, against the wall, buddy. Okay. Oh, back up, dude. <laughs> back up, back up. Easy victory. I don't lose too often at sword fighting. Beautiful Saxon maid. Emulator's a little choppy sound-wise. A little crazy on the Sid emulation. Sid being the sound ship on the Commodore 64.
silhouettes, silhouettes, silhouettes on the shade. Two silhouettes. <laughs> That's the power of love. inside here. I'm way behind. Usually I'll still win, but you gotta be a lot more careful here. <sighs> Boy, he's really fighting hard. Doesn't want to back up. Back the frick up, buddy.
down the stairs, you just keep backing up. Slow down and let him catch you if you want. But you're at the bottom of the stairs, you gotta be really careful. You gotta decide if you wanna... Go back to the fence at some point. <laughs> Whew! Just made it! But yeah, on the stairs, backing up, usually you're... Getting the upper hand. Even though he has the high ground. <laughs> and that's it, another victory. Dancing in the chambers, you peer inside to learn the darkness conceals any secrets. There, glittering in the torchlight, an incredible sight meets your eyes. An open chest filled with gold. The night seems filled with new promise as you begin the journey home. Hopefully a lot of money. At least nobody can attack me with the positioning of the map. Woo! Now I got some good money. That was a good read. All right, that's money he doesn't have to buy army either. Okay, we need to buy some knights now. Pretty soon we're ready to go after his castle, I think. Oh, nice, he's attacking me. <laughs> Which means... I could take him here with, like, one soldier. He would either go down and attack me back, and then he'd get nothing, and I'd have his army here. Or, he'd attack my castle, in which case I'd have an easy defense, and then I'd, he'd be defenseless for me to take his castle. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna take one man. No chance of victory if he attacks back, but that's okay, I'm testing him. Let's see what happens. Nope, he attacked my castle, so I have to beat him here. Bombard with my catapult. Ha ha! Sitting duck. Oh no! There goes my Saxon buddy. Oh well, I'm about to take over half the map. Oh, there's only one Norman too. Or two Normans too. Oh. Is he gonna raid me? Take a territory or is Robin helping out? Is it a Saxon or an... Oh, that's a bad thing. That's Normans doing stuff. They're taking a territory or raiding my gold or something. Raymond's rig sabotage your best catapult! Oh no! I have to buy a new catapult! So much for destroying his... <sighs> oh, shoot. That's the worst thing that could happen. Now I can't attack his castle. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, no, no he can attack my castle, but that's fine. I only have one soldier there. Shoot, that's the worst thing. Well, I'm going to raid the other guy first. Now, which... Need to raid his home castle only. Or else you won't get any money. So this isn't Reginald, is it? Oh, it is! So Reginald's taken over the other Norman lord. So his was his home castle here. So that's where I want to raid. Leave my one soldier precarious. <laughs> For a world, I'd be reading the other guy, but this guy should have more gold. That's my hunch. Ooh, don't let him put 
push me back. Oh, well, not the best one, but better than last time a little bit. All right. All right, Reginald Front de Boeuf. probably did. If he didn't, he's foolish and he'll pay for it. I'm gonna beat him this time. I'm not losing to you again. But the 
this fish is going down this time. Much better. Ah, <sighs> please let there be lots of gold. Oh well, I won anyways. <laughs> Silly. Oh, he's going down. I better take him quick before. Ah, I get sweet crap all for money. Damn it. Oh well, I need a catapult, so. give it a chance. We might not have a, any hope. But we might. Huh? Oh, move army. Here. Here. And... Yeah, I'm gonna take everything, because if I don't win this battle, I'm finished anyways. It's my only hope is to win. It's an all out, all or nothing. If I win, new promise. If I lose, I'm done for. Oops. And of course, my catapult. Now here's the trick. I'm not going to need to do this too often. But we're going to move here. Here. And then we're going to go to Sherwood. Right into Sherwood Forest, you seek the aid of Robin in the coming adventure. I expected you, he said. After a moment of thought, he agrees to your request. Now you shall see a siege. Assemble your army and prepare for a long, arduous siege as your forces take position surrounding the enemy castle. you get to see the... Well, that's a Saxon castle, I thought. Oh well. Alright. This... Robin doesn't help with the siege. He helps ambush after the siege. So here we are. 57 in the garrison. So, unless they're all knights, he's beatable. We have six days, so we need to break down the wall a little bit. Break the wall down! Now the trick is to pull it down to about the just the top of that bottom brown line there. So watch this. Right about there. Perfect. You need to break at least one hole or else you can't do any damage with the siege. Now if you do the second one, you want to go just above that. Probably to the brown and lighter brown line right above it. About there. And you might as well, you have only th three things, three, two disease and one Greek fire and four days left, might as well break a third piece. So, for that, you only go down about halfway. Oh, too low. Yeah, too little. If you break three pieces, it gives you more chance of hitting. So let's start with disease. Now you got to make sure that you pull it back at least to where one of the spots where you hit with the boulders. Otherwise, it'll miss the gap. So I want to go at least three quarters of the way down here. Got it. Now it'll do some damage. Ooh, 49 left. Took a whole bunch out. Creek fire, same thing. You gotta go down at least far enough to where you threw boulders. Down to 44. Oh, this should be an easy victory. And then one more Greek fire. And then we st Robin ambushes and we start the battle. The ambush. Robin's plan worked perfectly. His men surprised the enemy in the dead of the night, cutting the throats of the sleeping soldiers. As dawn breaks on the field of battle, you notice the ranks of the enemy army are considerably thinner. The stack that engaged the army of Roger Falconbridge in the field of combat echoes with the Saxon battle cry. Oh, he doesn't even have a knight in him. <laughs> even 
have any knights. And victory! And all his land is mine. Oh! Reginald attacked right away. Ooh, bombard. I beat Reginald's army. Nice. Now we want to buy some army and then we're going to start raiding again because only Reginald remains. Let's get home. The day is filled with new promise as it's just me and Reginald front to boof. Leave the castle empty. He can have it. I will take the whole map soon enough. Thank you, Robin of Loxley. Alright, now we're gonna buy some army. Okay, so we want a second catapult for bombarding? Yeah, why not? Plus, I might need to split up at some point. Knights. And, oh, we lost a lot of soldiers, too. Oh, well, he can't attack me yet, so... He can take a territory towards me, and then he can attack me in the next round. That nice income. I could read now, but he didn't attack me, so I think he bought army. So I don't think he's going to have much money, so I'm just going to buy more of my army. Because he might read me otherwise. Good. So now we know he didn't buy army. It's ripe for the reading. This should cripple him, in which case I should then be able to start to work my way through him. So then you gotta go to the home castle, so Reginald Front de Boeuf down here. This is a very winnable game. Play my cards right.
actually win an even battle if I... because of my... skillful play on the stairs. Ah, <sighs> hopefully this is a crippling blow to him. Can he read me right back? Bugger if he does. Or is Robin gonna read? Because Robin will read for you. No, nope, that's Norman, so maybe I'll just destroy my catapult. <laughs> Please be a catapult or take a territory. Yeah, good. A cat uh, I can handle losing a catapult right now. Ooh! That's a pretty good read. Alright. Now we gotta start attacking back. So, build a new catapult. Some knights. Now, let's build a ton of soldiers this time. I like having numbers. Alright, he's getting aggressive. It's time we engage his army and cripple him. Or should I take some territories from him? Yeah, why not? Like I can get attacked. Saxon Buddy's castle back. Sooner or later I'll have to engage his army. down to the bottom, to that bottom brown. And then about just above that. And then about halfway down. And if you want to destroy the whole wall, it's just a little bit down after that. Oh, missed it. I don't need to throw anything in, so I'm going to try again. That should get it. Haha. <laughs> One more day left. <laughs> Just for fun, let's throw in some Greek fire. And now you have the full area to shoot at, so <laughs> I shouldn't miss. But anyways, there's no army, so... <laughs> no garrison. Reginald calls a tournament. Start off with Wolfric. Dun 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 dun. Now we'll do it properly. Lords at Ashby. There we go. Ivanhoe rides into the... I don't know what they call a jousting pit. 
Hats and hush falls over the gallant gallery as the marshal gives the signal and the gallant knights spur their horses into action. War horses. Once again, you want to go a little left and to the right, or to left and down, to about mid-body. Try to attack before it's too late and too early, but never go down to his horse. Jousting is hard. I only, I only win so often. championship. Let's go Reginald. Me versus Reginald for the championship. Oh, I, I blew it. I was totally off to the side. Oh well, not the champion. He beat me. But now we should be right for the rating.
Russian's working against him. It usually does on the stairs. <laughs> oh boy, too close. Too close. <laughs> so yeah, once he's dead, he once you got no energy, you can push him right into the wall, he will not hurt you, so. Oh, hopefully it's a good haul. <laughs> I caught him with lots of money. Coffers are bulging. Woohoo! Thank you, Robin of Loxley. You rock. I still have two catapults, so I don't need to buy catapults. Lots of knights. Lots of soldiers. Now we're ready to take over, I think. Nice. His army's right there for the engagement. It's time to engage his army. We'll get Robin to help with this one. Because defeating his army here will be crippling. I'm assuming he has his entire army here, of course. So, let's get some help from Robin Hood. The Ambush. Gage the army of Reginald Front to Buff. Yep, his entire army. Ha ha ha! Eradicated! 35 frickin' knights! In your face, Mr. Front de Boeuf. Alright, we gotta take some... We gotta cut him off and take some territory here. I could actually finish him off right away here if I wanted. But it's more fun to make him squirm. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cut him and seal him in his castle. off from any other garrisons he might have. He might end up raiding me at some point though. It's the only trouble with not buying army regularly.
probably very little garrison in this castle. Fifteen. But let's eradicate him. And halfway down. Good. Now we got a nice easy target to shoot at. So disease first I like to throw. Even though it probably doesn't make a difference. To think that disease kills over time. Two gone, down to thirteen. Greek fire one. And Greek fire two. Destroy the little garrison. <laughs> now to be a real jerk, I'm gonna leave my entire army as a garrison in the castle to make sure he doesn't get out. Except the catapult. tournament. Wolfric again. Reginald, front to boof. Just 
good. Okay, I'm going to try reading him one more time. Then I need to cut his income down to nothing. So I don't have to read anymore. I like to beat the last enemy, I like to eradicate him. For my wife, Rosalind! Oh well, not bad. Not good, but not bad. Should hope it be the last time I need to raid him. Got him. Woo! That was a close one. You lose, Reginald Front de Buff. Garrison here. Yeah. Yep, he ain't getting out of there. What if he just bought might have been he just bought army? No, I did okay. That's a pretty good haul there. Alright, buy army one more time. And it's time to kick ours.
<laughs> you ain't never get note. There's no garrison. <laughs> oh, something else bad. <laughs> yep, Norman Castle, that's bad. He raided me. <laughs> oh well, it's good for the 
goose is good for the gander. That's okay, so we're not relenting. So I might as well nip home and pick up the army while I'm there. For you, Reginald Front de Boeuf. We're coming for you.
person. Any men in the 
cow in the garrison because if you lose, it's <laughs> not going to matter anyways. And we're not going to lose. So, Robin of Loxley one more time. And to devastate him. Final siege. Sorry, Reginald Front de Boeuf, you're going down. Tonight we feast on Front of the Beef. Beef fronts. Beef bellies, if you will. 53 garrison, that's it. And then the Saxons will rule England. And history will be changed. That's better. I was going down too far before. It's almost criminal how much I'm destroying him right now. <laughs> but we always want to save your final Robin of Loxley 8 if you can for the final battle, just for fun. And that's going to be it. The ambush. And the final assault. And that is it. We are King of England. Beating the last enemy lord, you restore peace to the, king, the troubled kingdom. Now it's time to crown a new king. The men of Sherwood accompany you to the palace, where the jubilant crowd fills the throne room. Suddenly exciting whispers race through the great hall. Race through the great hall. The good news. The crown has been found. Robin has it. He was the thief who took the crown after the king's death, keeping it safe in Sherwood Forest. <laughs> blah blah. <laughs> the end. Robin kept the crown safe for you. Now we are king. Now the excellent music to celebrate. Pay attention to the credits whoever wrote this excellent music for the soundtrack. That's, they did a really good job. Deserve the credits.
Actually, what I want to do is get out of this stupid version that has that... Making me change the joystick thing, and let's go back to the normal version. I think it's got the better intro. Wilfred of Ivanhoe, Geoffrey Longsword, Cedric of Rotherwood, Wilfred the Wild, and Robin of Loxley. The Anglo-Saxons. Brian Dubois Gilbert, Philip Malvison, Reginald Front de Boeuf, Edmund the Grin, and Roger Falconbridge. The ladies, Catherine of Nottingham, Anne of Lancashire, and Rosalind of Bedford. There we go. The year of our Lord, 1149, when the king returned from the Holy Land, they united six great warriors who had carried him to victory over the infidels. King subjects proud of the palace to see him grant each of his heroes a castle and his dominions. The knights departed for their lands. One man, a Saxon, rode to Sherwood Forest. And that's what leads into the conversation with Robin of Locksley. That's the good intro. And that is that. Thank you for checking this out, whether you checked it out live or on my YouTube channel. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe. I'll usually have a subscribe link down in the right corner near the end. And I'll have my splash screen usually, that sort of thing. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see more content from some of these classic video games on this channel.
And I hope you enjoyed your experience, and we will see you in the next video. Danimal Daniel Jobber, Bad Player 03, out.